That push to have Parliament amend the Constitution continues to grow with the move now receiving backing from the Anglican Church of Kenya. So SEK Archbishop Jackson Olesa Peters indicated that Parliament should enact legislations that do not require referendum, especially on matters dealing with electoral reforms. The Anglican Church stand is coming just days after the Catholic Church bishops proposed that the BBI referendum should be held after the 2022 general election. The Anglican Church has voiced its support to minimum reforms done through Parliament. Anglican Church Archbishop Jackson Ole Sapit has indicated with the BBI referendum push stalled at the courts, Parliament should move with speed to enact laws critical in electoral reforms given the time frame to the next general election. The court ruling regarding BBI process must be respected. We advise that since a matter of constitutional reforms through BBR proposal uh, changes is now in court, other urgent legislative matters should be prioritized by parliament. The Anglican Church's move comes against the backdrop of the Catholic Church's opposition to conducting a referendum before the 2022 general election. We propose that to ensure a democratic, constitutional and inclusive process that is based on law and dialogue, and as far-reaching constitutional amendments should only be addressed after 2022. The church is concerned of growing sentiments of postponing the next general election, both the Catholic and Anglican churches reading from the same script opposing such a plot. We strongly discourage any discussion or attempts uh, at postponing the 2022 elections. We also make uh, honest appeal to people in areas where currently there are by-elections to observe peace and model good example of mature politics and tolerance of uh, divergent views. On health matters, the Anglican Archbishop urged the Ministry of Health to undertake vaccination drive against COVID-19 to secure the health of the nation. Sapit, urging Afia House to ensure availability of vaccines in the country. We encourage the government to do everything possible to ensure that vaccination reaches acceptable percentage of the population of Kenya within the period required and to move with speed and allay anxieties among those who receive the first dose and are still waiting for the second dose. The Anglican head also appealed to Kenyans to continue observing the COVID-19 protocols as the country is not out of the pandemic yet. So we have copies.